Good day viewers, my name is Simteka Anodi. Today we'll be looking at uh, some questions from uh, paper 1, Mathematics, uh, GCE. Uh, simplify 2A plus open bracket B minus A, close bracket minus 2B. So we'll start with uh, the 2B. Okay, so it will be 2A plus, so positive times B, it is B. Positive times negative, it's negative A. Then you write it minus 2b. So what we are going to, to do here, we are going to correct the direct terms. We we'll correct the direct terms and the direct terms we have is 2a minus a plus b minus a 2b. So these are like terms, okay? These are like terms. So now, so now we have 2a minus a. Uh, 2a minus a, the answer is what? A. When we subtract a from 2a, simply means you will remain with the, uh, the variable without, I mean, with the coefficient, which is 1, the coefficient of a, which is 1. And then we have uh, positive b minus 2b, the answer is negative b. Okay, so this is uh, the answer. Please uh, follow the procedure. Ask questions where you are not clear. Drop the questions in the comment section, please, uh, so that we move together, we move forward together. Okay. Let's go to the second question. The second question says, uh, evaluate open bracket 64 over 125 cross bracket to the power 1 over 3. So what we are going to do, this can be written in this form. So we, this can be written in this form. Like we have, um, like we have this one, like um, we say a to the power m over n. So this can be written in this form, uh, this, the nth root of, um, of a, so you open bracket and then you close bracket to the power m. Okay, so this can be written in this form, in this form. Okay, so now let's write this, this equation in, this, in the form that we're talking about. Now we we'll say, now we we'll say 64, the cube root of, so this one should be long. The cube root, the cube root of, the cube root of, the, since we have 1 over 3, now this will become the cube root of 64 over 125. 125. And then, uh, since we are writing in this form, on the right hand side, like when you see on the right, the right hand side, we have uh, this equal the, this one, which is the a to the power m over n. So this can be written in this form, any the root of a to the power m. That's what we can write now. In this case, we don't have, uh, we, we have only power one, power one. So it can be written in this form like a single, single one. So let's move now. So the answer will be, the answer will be, the cube root of 64, it is 4 over 5. The cube root of 64 and the cube root of 125, it is 4 over 5. So this is the answer now that we have now. So if we want this now, so this is the answer. So this can be the, can be split in this form. If we want to prove, we have 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. Divided by 5 multiplied by 5 multiply by 5. So the answer is 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Over 5 times 5 25 times 5 125. Sorry. 125. 125. So that is the, our answer. Let's go to the second question. So the second question says given that given that the line Given that the line three, given that the line three y is equal to x plus six, and the y is equal to kx plus twelve are perpendicular 
find the value of k find the value of k find the value of k so now for us to find the value of k the first thing you divide we'll write the equation the equation is uh, 3 sorry the equation is 3 y is, is equal to x plus 6 and then another equation we have y is equal to k x plus 12 okay so these two lines are perpendicular so what we are going to do is we'll divide to the both side of the equation by what by 3 with the first equation that we have so you divide by 3 you divide by 3 so this and this you cancel it out you remain with what uh, this side you remain with the y is equal to so when we divide the x divided by 3 so this side you remain with the 1 over 3 x 1 over 3x plus 3 into 6, we have what? We have 2. Okay. So, since the, the, the coefficient of x here, the coefficient of x, the coefficient of x here, it is what? Uh, 1 over 3. Now, the gradient, the gradient here, it is, the gradient is, uh, the gradient in here is 1 over 3. Now, since for this line to be perpendicular, to the line above, the product of the two lines must be negative 1. The product of two lines must be negative 1. So in other words, we are saying K must be the negative reciprocal of 1 over 3. So K must be the reciprocal of 1 over 3. Meaning that, uh, meaning that we have, uh, meaning that we have, meaning that we have Y is equal to K X plus 12. So we're saying the product of the two lines must be negative 1. Okay. The product of two lines must be negative 1. So uh, and then in other words we're saying k must be the negative reciprocal of 1 over 3. Okay. So in this case since we have this one. Okay. We have k since we have um, uh, this one. K will get this one. K must be negative. So is equal to negative 3. Now, this one will be, uh, this one, since we have that one now, will be, this one will be 1 over 3 times negative 3. So this will be uh, one, uh, 1 over 3 times negative 3. The answer is negative 1. And that's why we are talking about. Therefore, K is equal to negative 3 that is the, the answer okay that is the the answer to the question here the question that we have which is uh, which is given that the line y 3y is equal to x plus 6 and y is equal to kx plus 12 are perpendicular find the value of k find the value of k so the value of k is negative 3 so when is the, the value of k is negative 3 so you are saying for this line to be perpendicular to the line above the product of the two lines must be negative 1 in other words k must be the negative or reciprocal of 1 over 3 so k is equal to negative 1 because 1 over 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 1 okay so let's move on let's let's pro let's proceed i think we will end on this one factorize the completely because of the time we we'll just end here factorize completely factorize completely factorize completely so this one will collect first the like terms so write 6 a x and then we'll get uh, minus 3 b uh, x and then the other one followed by uh, 4 a y 4 a y uh, plus 2 b y now let's factorize this one so we'll group them in this form right eh? So we are going to group them. So we'll group them like this one, and then for this one, okay. So we'll group them. We we'll group them, okay. We we'll group them. We we'll group them. So then you have. So then you have. So then we we'll have. 6ax uh, 
uh, and the negative uh, 3bx now when we subtract this one we are going to find the the factors of which when we now uh, when we when we factorize we remain the same uh, we find the same answer so what is the common factor here the common factor is the uh, 3x 3x then you open bracket then you write 3x into 6ax the answer is 2a minus 3x into 3bx the answer is b you close bracket and then this one we have minus we have minus for what is common what, what is the what is the common factor in here the common factor is 4ay plus 2by uh, the common factor is 2y 2y so you write 2y you open bracket you have 2y into 4ay you remain with the 2a uh, minus negative and the positive is negative then 2y into 2by the answer is b okay you close bracket then excuse so then you do and then you write you you call you you group them so you have sorry so you have 2 a minus b you close bracket then uh and then the other one you see three x three x minus two y so this is our answer please subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials I see you in the next lesson in the next tutorial uh as we'll be moving together please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel so this one i can increase the font now please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification button so that you receive videos like this one see you in the next tutorial like uh, we've remained with the uh with the way uh, question five because of time because of the memory i'll just see uh, uh do one of the two or uh, uh, i'll do i'll just do i'll do this these questions okay and then the other one i'll do it later see you